just to be able to address us in the nation briefly. Thanks, Mohammed. Thank you, Dr. Nzimande and uh, ministers and uh, deputy ministers who are here. It's an absolute joy to have spent the past few minutes here at the CSIR, which is the home of our brain power from a science and technology point of view. And I'm delighted to have come here because this is where a platform of enabling the nation to deal with uh, COVID-19 in a technological and a scientific way. I've been hugely impressed to see how we are able, through the facility that we have here, to look at the entire country and see how we can get data and information about the incidence of infection of the coronavirus throughout the country, but more importantly, how we are able, using science and technology, to drill it down to almost provincial, district, municipality, ward level, and street level to know as they track the people who are infected to be able to know where the higher and the more vulnerable areas in our country are going to be. But I was also hugely impressed to know that through one of our partners, through Vodacom, who are going to distribute to our health workers lots of telephones, mobile phones, that are going to have the apps. And here is the CEO of uh, Vodacom uh, coming to demonstrate and give us the phone that is now going to be used by our health workers throughout the country. 20,000 of them will have this phone with an app that will be able us to get the data right to this center here at the CSIR in real time. As they input the data, as they screen our people, get all the information, it appears immediately here, and then through this they'll be able to direct people for testing to hospital and places like that. So we are immensely grateful that we do have partners who are coming forward to assist us in this fight against uh, coronavirus. And I'd like to thank Mr. Shamil, the CEO of uh, Vodacom, for lending a hand and giving support to the nation through the distribution of this uh, 20,000 phones. We said we would be uh, engaging 10,000 uh, health workers. Now he is saying we should increase it to 20,000. And that's precisely what we are now going to do. Thank you very much for your support and assistance. Thank you very much for the phones as well. Maybe you want to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, when we got the call, um, the coronavirus, uh, as you know, is uh, had devastating uh, impacts all over the world. So when we got the government, the call for government to step up and to help, that's exactly what we've done. And, uh, the phones is just one way in terms of which we're trying to, to assist government with, with this big, uh, with, with this big uh, issue that we're faced with. Uh, so the 20,000 phones will come with uh, minutes, 500 minutes and 5 gigs of data uh, that we will also provide to, to health workers uh, to be able to get the information back after the scanning on, on, in real time. Uh, so this is just one of the efforts we're also trying to help uh, government in supporting with. Uh, big data analytics um, on the one side, um, and uh, Mr. President also on the Vodacom eSchool platform, which is available in all 11 official languages. All the syllabuses from grade R to grade 12 is, is there. It's all completely free um, and, and has uh, also videos and tests and, and so on that's, uh, uh, that's available as well. The, uh, uh, 
uh, virtual doctor platform that we launched last week uh, in partnership with Discovery, where um, we'll hopefully also take pressure off the health system, where there's a, a simple scanning uh, through USSD and the app, and then also where you can access a virtual doctor if you've seen as high risk. Vodacom uh, uh, and, and, and Discovery has put a fund of 20 million to basically sponsor the, uh, the consults. Uh, so that at least that can also take some uh, some some pressure pressure off, and I think, uh, Mr. President, we have to to assist in any way we can. Thank you so much. Well, this is the assistance that we are appreciative of, and I also would like to thank the leadership of this institution, the CSIR, from the minister, deputy minister, as well as the chair of the CSIR Professor Majosi and the CEO, and all the people who work here. They are stepping up in our effort to fight against coronavirus, and they are doing it in the most scientific way. And I think as a nation, we should be proud that we have an institution like the CSIR which is always trying to be ahead of the curve in terms of bringing solutions for the nation to utilize. I'm particularly proud of the fact that at this most testing time for our nation, the CSIR has stepped up to the plate and they have information through the health department, of course, of, of 45 million South Africans through the NHI that we are trying to build. And already there is a platform and a base of information. And as we are now managing uh, coronavirus through technology and science, we already have a very good platform and a base. And now they are linking up to all the provinces, all the districts in our country, all the hospitals. I was particularly pleased to see that they've already tracked all the hospitals, all the beds that are available, and all the bed and breakfast that are available, the hotels that can be utilized either for isolation centers, quarantine centers, and all that is now available here for enabling us to fight this uh, COVID-19. So I'd like to thank the leadership of this center and say, Please get on, uh, continue with the work. I hear that they've been working 16 to 18 hours a day, just collecting uh, all the data. And we'd like to thank them. They are the unsung heroes of our fight against coronavirus. And thank you very much. And we're grateful to Vodacom for all the work that uh, they are doing as well. Thank you so much.